So the second half just about to get underway. Gallagher starting on interchange. The second quarter from the MCG. Adelaide leading by 13 points. They led by 11 points at the first change, scoring 4-3 to 4-1 in the second term. And in the ruck for North Melbourne, it's Carey. Again, the Crows, though, out of the centre through Jamison, who himself has kicked two goals. And a marking contest down there, and Avison takes a very courageous grab. Over to Fairley, who's been a very consistent player for North Melbourne. McGuinness and his tag. McGuinness won that duel. Abernathy fires back the hand pass, on the end of which is Marshall. And Marshall spears the ball into full forward. And Martin answering the plea of the coach, playing in front. Wasn't paid the mark, and that indeed was surprising. I'll get out of it, though, or will they? Clue with a quick hand pass. A kick from a standing start comes up from Abernathy towards full forward. And one behind. The Molina looks as if he's got, now got the job on Felky. I saw German picking up Felky early in the second quarter. So it'll be an interesting battle between two high possession winners in the first half. Brett Avison. Avison goes straight down the ground with the kick. Looking for Carey. Delina again. Having a great game. The former Fitzroy player, Sean Smith. Got to the front position. He could almost be penalised there if he doesn't get rid of the ball quickly enough. Romero. Ball slapped out wide. Three North Melbourne players are there. One of which, one of whom was Rock. Finally, it comes back to Matthew Larkin with a high kick up towards half forward. Ramiro oh, was good the mark. Good, good mark to Treginza at the front. I don't know what the crowd's roaring about that. No doubt about it. Mark at the Maynard who's really kept Kerry under control. McDermott's been improved player tonight. He hasn't had a great year. Oh, that's a, was that a push out? No, no I the think he just said no. He might have. Uh, here's a chance now. Murphy for goal number five. Puts it across the face and through for a behind. I just still can't help thinking that it would be a real good time to get Hodges back to full foot. <laughs> no, well, what's the name? He's, Martin has got on top at fullback on uh, Michael Murphy. Well, Hodges did all right at half forward in the second quarter, leaving there. Oh, no. Well, he kicked 150 goals at full forward, Don. So, surely, isn't that his position? You would think so. Mickett. And as we've mentioned, having a great game to Tregenza. Martin again defensively. Roberts had a long sleeve jumper on before half time. Comes out on the sleeve of the jersey. This is Chandler. Hooks the ball across his body. Abernathy right on the boundary line. And goes for distance with the kick. It's not a bad sort of a roost that, but I think he's put it through. Great goal if it is. This is the story of four bank robbers and the two bumpers. As Delina gets it forward. Hart used his body well and went and grabbed it. A quick kick out wide. This is McCarthy swinging round onto the right foot. Centres the ball. It was an ordinary kick. Slightly off the side. Micken trying to get back there. Longmire traps it. Hand pass. Chandler trying to get round onto the left foot. Hand passes instead. Longmire too slow to get rid of it. This is Bartlett. Oh, shocking kick by Tregenza. Straight to Stevens. He's brought the Grand North Northern not playing well. Here's Maynard. No, now well. he's trying to get it out, Maynard. He does so. A quick kick comes towards Hodges. Right out at centre wing. He's moving pretty well, actually. Oh, a tunnel ball's job. Martin, get on right on top of Murphy at the moment. As the kick goes right out towards centre wing and over the line. And... Well, things not going, in front. My word is, but things not going the way of North Melbourne, mainly because the Crows are getting numbers to the ball and they're, they're preparing to run at the ball pretty hard. So, North, don't watch it. They'll be playing chasey or catch-up football. Well, look, there's the numbers again that Don Scott was talking about. Is that the advantage being paid? No, no have the to ball come didn't back. come back behind that mark. So, let's see who's going to take the kick. It's Abernathy, who is a class player, as demonstrated by that left-foot goal a moment ago. There's a beautiful kick to the half-forward line. Over the back of the pack, it's the Crows charging in after it. It's at the little It'll forward little lip tack. Lip tack. Yeah. That's little lip tack again. I think he might have been pinged here for holding the ball. Or he gets underneath the feet, doesn't he? The bounce. Let's, uh, I think it's going to be a bounce. As the umpire chases it over the line, the field umpire to go and collect his own ball then. Don't see that too often. Gavin Dorr and Anton McKernan in full marks. Tonight they've been terrific. Hardly made a mistake. Anton McKernan, is that Irish? I would have thought Scottish, actually, Don. Forward pocket, tapped down. Oh, here's a chance round the corner by Liptag. Is that another one? Yes. 
Well, it's finally come off with a little fellow. It's good to see his teammates go, teammates go across and congratulate him because he's run in there just earlier. He ran really well underneath the feet of the pack. He's done it on a number of occasions in the first quarter, but just hasn't really captured the ball or the goals. And on that occasion, it was a good hit out. Look at that fellow. That's terrific stuff. His first goal in AFL football. Liptak's first goal. 12-7 to 8-4. So the Crows doing well in the third quarter. North Melbourne needs a quick reply if they to stay in this match. Can they build something out of this? McCarthy. Romero or too, too slow. slow. And look at the Crows. Look at the numbers around the ball there. Maynard to Marsha. Ian Robertson in the first match against Hawthorne called him unfashionable. Well, he's effective. And that's out of bounds. Or is it not out of bounds? Yes, it is. I thought it was. Well, they haven't played well all night, uh, North, and that's due to the excellent play of the Crows, but they've fumbled also, Pete. Well, that's the pressure, isn't it, Pete, I guess? Put on by Adelaide. Their tackling's been good. Micken in the front with Carey. Micken again. A quick hand pass. Looks for his skipper, McDermott. That won't lose him any points. And McDermott's kick. It's plenty of distance with it up towards right half forward. Fairly couldn't take the mark. Opposition from Klug. Finally, Fairly again. Kicks it back towards centre field. Filthy missed the mark, and the opportunity is with Carl Delina. Delina down towards full four. That's a great diving mark taken by John Longmire. Winner of the John Coleman medal last year. And do they need a goal here north? Great grab, Pete. Well, let's hope he kicks like he did in the second quarter when he really looked aggressively and kicked aggressively at the ball, Longmire. Kick number five for Longmire. He didn't get onto that at all well. And like McCarthy, who's kicked three goals from 50 metres for North, and they badly needed that one. 8-5 to 12-7. The, the job ahead of North Melbourne, if they're to get back into this match. Lead being made by Bickley. And the kick-in comes to Maynard, who takes the grab in front of Rock. Gets the hand pass away. This is Hart. Hart's kick up towards centre wing. And that's a North Melbourne mark to Carey. North Melbourne's forward line pretty crowded at the moment. Bartlett at the back. Spargo spins into trouble, spins into Marshall. That might be holding the ball, or is it in the back? It's an Adelaide free kick. Whatever you like, and Marshall will take it. Well, it should, probably should have been a free kick earlier for holding the ball. There's the kick by Marshall. Or oh, was he held, Hodges? Oh, that's good umpiring. Advantage paid as well. Tregenza to the half forward line, looking for Clue. Klug. Clue's worked overtime down there at half forward. Looking trying to tap it on. And again, it's tapped on to Tregenza. The Crows go forward again. The hand pass, Filky. Can he dodge the tackle? No, he can't. Good play. Oh, Swass went for the wild kick. McGuinness could have been legged. A wild hand pass comes out to Carey. What's he doing down on the half-back line? Goes to the line, Wayne Carey. And he got away with it. And he's had a dirty night, Wayne Carey. Let's have a look at this. Look at that tap. Oh, he went slightly round, so he got away with it. It's fair enough. Half forward. Hodges doing the ruck work. Goes and gets it again. Taps it on. Uh, is that in the back to Chandler? The umpire's found a free kick. Some ironical cheers, but these umpires have been excellent all night. And only paying the fair to free kicks. Yes, yeah, good exhibition. Chandler will kick the centre wing. A marking contest there. Two crows up. Jamison was the one in front, but the ball spills out the back to Carey. Quickly. He needs to kick it quickly, ran his full distance, Longmire, one out, and Marks decides to play on, gets away from Bartlett, just gets away from Hart, dragged down, and the goal umpire says, a goal. 20 points the margin, Scott Hodges off the ground, Delina, a quick hand pass Ooh. to the half forward line, here they come again, North Melbourne, a hand pass to Ramiro from 50 metres, hooks it back in front of goal, Longmire at the back. Bickley saving the day for the Crows. Good play with a sweeping hand pass. As it comes out towards McGuinness, then on to Hart. Chris McDermott played a good game. He goes short. Lindner. Clue. The Crows go forward again. Some wrestling going on. Martin at the back. Murphy at the front. Here's a chance for Liptak again. Around the corner goes McIntyre. Is that a goal? Yes. Great goal, McIntyre, two goals, 13-7 Adelaide, 9-5 North. Well, it was all done through quick movement of the ball from that half-back line. And then the long bomb 
Now Lip Tack gets underneath the pack once again. There he is, the little fellow. Well done. He really does read the ball well off the hands of the pack. McIntyre, Mac second goal. So at the moment, the Crows have the answers. There's Wayne Schimmelbush on the phone. There is a glass partition in between those two boxes, incidentally. Probably just as well. The tape is pretty thick. Micken. Well, he's done brilliantly tonight at the centre bounces. And that's where they're getting it away, uh, the Crows. But not this time. This is Schwoss. Schwoss kicks up towards half forward. Longmire was the target. He led out a long way from goal. And the Crows should be able to take it over the boundary line, which they do through the person of Jamison. He's in defence now, Jamison. Kicked two goals earlier, didn't he? So a boundary throw in. Left half forward flank for North Melbourne. Who since quarter time really have been outplayed by Adelaide. Well, that Adelaide's best win this year was under lights at Football Park against Hawthorne. And they defeated them by over 80 points. Filky, a good player. Across the goal with the kick. Plenty of space out there. He needs some runners. He's got Bartlett. Well, Bartlett had it and then lost it. Kicks it off the ground. He'll need to do it again. Longmire ducks back. Onto Spargo. Kicks short. And the mark is taken by Stevens. The shadow of McGuinness. Centering kick. Oh, oh, McCarthy. Got a mile in the air. Didn't come down with the ball. Schwoss on the end of the hand pass. He'll need it. Be quick. Gets it away. Jamison. But the Crows are going away. They're doing well. This is Tregenza. Boot to ball quickly. Tregenza kicks it up towards oh, well half forward. And they're breaking down. He's played well tonight, Ian Fairley. North Melbourne's most consistent player. Abernathy. Too slippery. The MCG surface. <laughs> and that's out of bounds. I think he's quite happy to go over the line then, Bruce he Abernathy. <laughs> Kicked a great goal earlier in the term, so we await the boundary throw in. Nickett and Carey. Ramiro. Looks at across his body up towards half forward. Sean Smith might have been tackled too high. He has been, says the umpire. He'll take the free kick. Well, they need a couple of quick goals north. They're under enormous pressure from the Crows. The kick to the forward line, a chance for someone to take a mark, and that someone is John Longmire. Well, that was an interesting contest because they were body to body, both at, uh, Bartlett and Longmire. And just as the ball was let go, Bartlett surrendered a little bit of position and allowed a run for Longmire at the ball. Very slow off the mark, um, Bartlett, which is a bit of a worry when you're playing a full back. Longmire for his third from directly in front. Good looking drop punt, it's a goal. So, three goals. Pass Romero over the top. Oh, it gets buffeted. Abison needs to get rid of it quickly. Does so. Stevens on the left foot shoots mm. and has missed. Golden opportunity missed by the Roos. Reducing the deficit now to 19 points. 66 to 85. Last quarter shaping up as a thriller as we await the kick in. Kick to the outer side by Lee. Maynard. Spargo. Outside 50. Good shepherd by Sean Smith. Into the square. Longmire again. Change might have to be made down there, I think, Peter. Surely could not miss from there for his fourth goal. And the Colvin medalist will put this right into the new Southern stand. You see there, when he does body to body, he does well, Bartlett. But That's a goal. Longmire's fourth. Then we really have a contest here. Once again, 13 points the difference, as it was at halftime. Well, Longmire has kicked three in this the third quarter. We watch there, the punch down by Allison. Spargo, the high ball. Bartlett just getting away and out of position for the second time. So four goals to Longmire. Under 13 minutes left in the quarter. Game shaping up as a thriller. They've got a bit of bite now in the ruck because Carey's in there contesting the bounces against Micken and at least he can get up there, Carey. Well, McDermott gets it out the heart. They need a repulsing uh, goal here. Here's a little fellow, Lip Tack. He's been very, very slippery. Marshall, the long kick. Murphy. Mark racing away from Murphy. He's got right on top since quarter time. I'd make a move there for sure. And Swass takes it over the line. I reckon they could get Murphy down to full back and get Hodges back on the ground up at full forward, the Crows. They wouldn't lose anything, would they, well, by that move? Well, be... Murphy's not exactly fast, so I don't know whether he'd 
with a lot well, he's played, back. He has played a lot on the back line, though, Don, as we see Abernathy, the forward pocket. Lindner was there, but it beat him over the line. 13-7, plays 11-6. So North have really lifted their work rate. Well, actually, they? they're making a change. Jamison's going back to full back, and Bartlett's coming out to centre half back. He's going to pick up... Uh, McCarthy Bartlett. Well that's not a bad move but Jamison's got pretty of uh, mobility and pretty quick. And that's what you need on a leading player like Longmire. There's Clue and uh, also his opponent Ian Fearley so it'll be another bounce. It's John Clue, former Tasmanian Johnny Longmire looking dangerous there's Chandler bringing it to the half back line. North really working hard now. That was Stevens. Getting it further field to Delina and a good mark to Carey. Carey on left centre wing. Play on. He does. Gets around Nicken. Kicks towards half forward. Rock lost sight of the ball. Spargo didn't you have to be quick with the hand pass. He wasn't quick enough. McDermott. Maynard. Spears the pass into centre wing. Nicken. On to McDermott. Oh, quick. And McGinnis up towards half forward. The mark is taken by McIntyre. And McIntyre's already kicked two goals. Murphy's still the leading goal kicker for the Crows. He's got four. And all of those were kicked in the first quarter. Gee, that was explosive power shown by McGuinness. He changed track, got onto that left foot, cut across Spargo, and found McIntyre. Who kicks a goal. Going to be close. In fact, it couldn't be any closer. Hits the post for one behind. Yes. Smart off, Don. Yeah, and Smart's back on. 72 to 86. 14 points the difference. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if Smart goes on to Longmire. German. Ramiro had made a lead. And German now goes towards the outer side. And you're right, Peter. Smart's gone to full back. McGuinness takes the ball, but not the free kick. That's going to Ian Fairley at the right half-back flank. And a 50-metre penalty will assist him as well. The player ran across the mark. I think that was Murphy. Ran a, you can't do that. Kluge will do, uh, go back to take up the position. Mark will be right at the edge of the centre square now for Fairley. And Fairley goes in short, looking for Longmire. Clean bowled him. Larkin. Well shepherded. Onto the left foot. He'll just about score from there and he scores a goal. Great goal, great shepherd. Picking up 79 Ooh, plays 86. Transformation because the Crows were the ones ha halfway through or early in this quota that really did show North Melbourne what to do now. The, it's a good effort by North to come back into it. This is Jamison. He kicks the centre wing. Romero applies the tackle and comes out with the ball. Well played, Jose. Shaw. Breaks one tackle. That came from Linda. He started on the bench tonight down towards full forward. That Lee takes the mark. Kicks the ball back towards centre wing. Or well, half-back flank. Won't quite get that far. Still to be won. It's Marshall that does it. And Marshall kicks down towards right half-forward flank. A marking contest. The ball spills for Kluge. Needing some shepherding. Left foot centre and kick. Out towards half-forward. Was that a mark? Did he hold it long enough? Oh, that was a high tackle. That came from Delina. He put the arm out to protect himself. Abernathy. Finally picked up by Bickley, who spotted the man further downfield on his own. That's the skipper and Chris McDermott. Probably too far out to score. And realising that himself goes in short. And the mark taken by Tregenza, although the angle is worse, he is a little bit closer. See, they need a steadier, don't they, Adelaide? Certainly do. Seven and a half minutes left in this term. Pick number 18 coming up for him. It might come That's around. Good one. That's a pretty good sort of a kick. It's a goal. And they get the steady that Peter McKenna suggested. Tregenza's first. Adelaide 14th. 92 plays 79. Now we watch this on replay. It's a good kick because it is difficult from that angle to kick goals. His first Tregenza. And uh, he has really got on top of number two there. Schwoz, Schwoz started well. well. 13 points the margin. We have just over seven minutes of play left in the third quarter. A vital seven minutes coming up. There's Bickley, a wobbly one. The centre wing, good mark. Taken by Chandler. Immediately plays on to Scholl. 
Shoulder the half forward line. Scott Lee runs back with the fly to the ball. I said earlier, a good honest player, Lee. Doesn't play many bad games. That kick though, straight to Delina. Delina to full forward. Longmire in front, smart at the back. Goes for the big punch. Tacking the ball was filthy. That was great play. So he punches it wide. Longmire versus Smart. Back up support. Smart goes in after it again. Quick hand pass was by Smith. Out to Swash. Here's Longmire. Caught with the ball. Gets in a hand pass. The ball tapped further afield to Rock. Rock brings it back in front of goal, but the mark is taken by Scott Lee. Lee to Marshall. Marshall got the left half back flag. And kicks to centre wing. Linda was the leader in pursuit. Oh, Hooks the ball over his shoulder and he's got Filky. He had to get going quickly from a standing start and he couldn't. Klug well, picks up the wet ball beautifully. I say wet because there's a bit of dew out there now and it's becoming pretty slippery. McGuinness goes over. McDermott, Filky. Maynard. He kicks to half forward and Abernethy. We saw him kick a beautiful goal, Abernethy, from the boundary line. Shepherding. Well, the free kick. Must have been Shepherding, I think. So Roberts takes the free. Going to uh, add to that tally for the time being anyway. This is Carey. Carey at half back. Mickett in pursuit. North Melbourne forward line pretty open at the moment, but it's not going to go much further. He's doing well, Lee, on Spargo. Scott Lee from the right half back flank. Kicks to the centre of the ground, and that's a good mark taken by Craig Shaw. He was a fine water skier. We found out earlier in the year. He kicks to half forward, and that's a mark. Ramirez hurt behind the play. Longmire, probably too far out to score. Who's home for North? McCarthy. Is that a mark? Oh, play on, play on. Play on. He, did. Did. he didn't play it. North Melbourne fans rope oh, about that. Good play, McCarthy. And they should be able to get, get clear. Tony McGuinness. Kicks to the half back line. Schwoss goes to spoil. Does it effectively? That's out of bounds. 65 metres out from goal. Romero now back on his feet, but as you can see, lifting up. It's amazing how the supporters don't know what's going on. It was touched off the boot. And uh, oh, they oh, it was a look at this linking of arms. Look at this. Great camera shot of that. Micken eventually taps it down. The ball around the boundary line and in fact over the line. This is a good battle now in the ruck because Carey's got the mobility and Micken's got the experience. They're going to make a change, take Micken off and, and Hodge. Hodges back on. Well, that's interesting. We'll see who McIntyre's doing McIntyre the ruck McIntyre work. McIntyre to do probably a little bit more mobile than Micken now. Running back with the flight of it is McGuinness. Hunts away from now. Anthony Stevens has had the job all night tagging McGuinness, number 10. The North used to wear number 46. Now worn by Carl Delina, but vital few minutes coming up. Just uh, three minutes and 45 seconds left in this third quarter. 13 nice points to margin kick, now. Here's Tregenza. Kicks to half forward. Hold and it. a mark. A very, very good mark by Linda. Now, Linda is a huge kick. He will kick from 55. Now he can kick. I will go as far as to say I'll make the distance from here. He is a very, very long kick. Oh, he's gone to torpedo putt. I thought he'd kick a drop punt. And he's made the distance but very wide and out of bounds on the pull. So a penalty kick the door. You can see there the holding by Scholl. It was a good mark despite the holding. He should have been awarded the free kick anyway, Linda. Martin kicks it. Free. Oh, that should be a free kick too. Fairly went up high, didn't come down with the ball. And it's going to be a bounce right on 50. Under three minutes remaining in the third quarter. I know Fairley only had eyes for the ball, but really he did infringe when he was going for it. Knocked away by Klug. Chance for McGuinness. No one being, uh, being able to pick it up. Finally, Fairley takes the hand pass from the oh, leader. Beautiful smother. Man. Lip tack. Filky, or as Bickley got the hand pass out, he kicks twin towards the 10 metre square, and that's out of bounds. So boundary throw in. That was Klug who uh, executed that great smother. Five metres from the behind post. Adelaide in attack. Crows leading 92 to 79. Fairly. Klug. Klug in front. Dragged over the shoulder. Delina to Martin. <laughs> now that is deliberate. 
He didn't have many options, Don, did he? Saw some space and went for it. It'd be pretty hard to penalise that, though, no, just the same. Could, could not possibly pay that. Well, we know what his intentions were. <laughs> There's got to be a little bit of uh, leeway. He's it? innocent until proven guilty. Good tackle. Filky. McGinnis. Brushes one, brushes two tackles. And finally gets his kick in. Well done, Tony McGinnis. Up towards full forward. Snap over the shoulder from Abernathy. Is not bad. And a goal. Well, Abernathy brings up his second. Indeed, both spectacular goals. 15-8 to 12-7. Well, he was all by himself in the goal square on that occasion, Abernathy. Watch the high ball from McGuinness. Abernathy all by himself, right of screen. The ball comes out. It was always going to be a goal. Good strong play by Murphy in that pack too. Fifteen eight to twelve seven, a very handy goal that one. North were getting on top, Adelaide fighting desperately. A quick kick comes down to the half forward on his little lip tack again. Can he control it? He's got it. The little fella from half forward kicks and misses. So there he is. He's been most impressive. They tell me he's done uh, three years of medicine and he's given it away for you. There's a forlorn looking Wayne Schimmel Bush, but he's given it away for. The medicine for a year to try and make it in AFL football. It's a good story, that one. What a tonic. Oh. Mark Roberts hasn't had a great night. That's a beautiful kick, though. He's found Scholl. We have a minute of play left in the third quarter. Oh, it's oh, a free Rock kick. held his ground. Courageous mark. Anthony Rock, the little rover. Centre wing goes short. Good mark to Smith. He's very good overhead. Wants to play on. The lead is on. Longmire. Smart's got the pace to go with him and kicks it out towards centre wing. Time clock ticking down. This is Sean Smith again with a chance. This time he kicks a high one to the full forward line. McCarthy flies from the back. Jamison also fists it to the pocket. And John Longmire trying to keep it in. Take it away from his, by his opponent, Nigel Smart. He'll kick it right out towards centre wing. Defensive 50 metre comes the kick from Smart McGinnis takes the boundary line with his kick as well so time ticking down to three quarter time Chandler won't gather it inside the line in front of Liptak and it'll be a boundary throw in. It's an interesting battle between Stevens and McGinnis. Stevens probably the fittest man in that North Melbourne side and McGinnis who has got explosive power. Well there's the three quarter time siren so the Crows have increased their lead to 20 points. They led by 11 points at the first change, 13 at half time and now 15-9, 99 to North Melbourne 12-7, 79 at the MCG.